Are you tired of this? Well, up to the download process, most of the plugins work fine. And when the migration process starts, this is what happens. WordPress has got many plugins to help you transfer one domain to another domain. But do they get your work done? There are many free plugins that will provide you or promise you to use their plugins to migrate your domains. But these plugins will have some limitations such as free plugin issues. They will always run into troubles. Even if you keep your laptop on for 48 hours, expecting your domain to transfer, it will never get transferred because they hang up there. No further progress. Then they will ask you to purchase their plugin for any amount size transfer. But do you know who can easily transfer your domain without any plugin? You don't have to log into WordPress for anything. All work can be done directly from your cPanel. So now let's get to the point. I am going to transfer one of my subdomains to a new domain. Let's say my subdomain name is stories of love and hate and I have bought a new domain named Story Hub. I will very easily transfer my subdomain within 2-3 minutes perfectly including all the data. Let's say this is my new site Story Hub. There is nothing in there obviously. Check here, no plugins. And if you see here, there are no posts. So you should not have any data in your new domain. I will log into my dream host login dashboard. And here I am into the dashboard. First, click on manage domains. And here is my subdomain stories of love and hate, which we are going to transfer. Let's click on manage and you will land here. Remember, all other hosting companies will have different dashboards, but the process will be the same. All the companies will have this system. Therefore, just message to your hosting company and they will forward the processing steps. So here we will search for domains. Before that, have a complete look at the dashboard. Down here you can see the menu domains. You can change your WordPress site to run under a different domain name. Now here you have to click on change. Next click on select domain. Here you have to select your new domain. My new domain is Story Hub. Then you will reach to this option. You need to select that option. After you select this option, DreamHost will extract the data and also set the DNS records by themselves so you don't have to bother of anything. Well, to say I'm extremely happy with DreamHost and the dashboard and service is excellent. I will give you the link below in case you wish to join. Let's move. Finally, tick that and click on change. And here the process begins. It took hardly a minute to get the transfer done. And here you see how easy that was. So quick and simple process. So it's transferred to Story Hub. Now here is the blank domain and we will refresh the site. And here you see the complete subdomain is transferred to a new domain. Everything is so perfectly done. I'm impressed very happy. Let's refresh one more time. 
Now let's go to WordPress dashboard and refresh the old site Stories of Love and Hate. And here you see the site is now changed. In the settings, you will have to make some small changes like the site name or the site title. Let me change that and save the changes. And then refresh the site one more time. And here you see the changes taking effect. And one more thing that you will have to change and that is the footer part. Also you can see here nothing happens to your old site URLs. They are same as the old URLs. No headache of redirection of any type. Only changes you will have to make are resubmitting the site for AdSense approval after setting the site in Google Search Console and other places. Remember, this is your new site, so you will have to resubmit to Google. Your old traffic will come directly to this new site. What happens to the old site? I am here refreshing the old site and this is what happens. Your old site does not exist. The SSL certificate is immediately withdrawn. Now one last time we will visit the dashboard and here if you are using the Jetpack plugin now you see here each site is independent and we will refresh the site and create fresh connection. Here it will ask you to log in with Jetpack. You don't have to log in here. You go back to your WordPress login. Remember your username and password, your old subdomain login details you will have to use, not of the new site. This is very important to remember. So here I am friend, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you will get your work done by watching this video. If it is helpful, then please show some love and care by liking the video, by commenting, subscribing and sharing. Bye bye and take care.